Hello all, what we see here is a basic structure of a IO port in a, in a microcontroller. So, um, we are specifically looking into uh, STM32 microcontroller, basically STM32 F103 C66. So, this is a microcontroller which is present on the blue pill board. So, if you look at reference manual of this particular microcontroller, uh, the IO structure is shown. So, if we basically see here, there are um, two paths that are there. So, let us start with the IO pin here. Okay. So, if you see the IO pin here, this is the pin that we see, uh, uh, physical pin that we see on a PCB board or on a basically chip which gets mounted on the um, PCB board. Okay. So, this is the IO pin and this pin can give output or take input immediately after this IO pin you can see here there are protection diodes so the purpose of this protection diodes is to help uh, any uh, over voltages that are coming uh, for example we have VDD here okay VDD generally we use microcontrollers with 3.3 volts right so this is 3.3 and <coughs> When, when you get any voltage beyond 3.3, uh, this gets clamped to 3.3. So, these diodes are the protection diodes that are present on the IO pin. So, this is a common mechanism across the microcontrollers. And then any negative voltages, uh, again, there is uh, uh, a diode to the ground. So, the, the input protection diodes are present. And then... You can see here, there are two paths from the input. One is input driver and other one is the output driver. Let us first start with the output driver. Okay. Output, if you see, output pins of microcontrollers can be configured as push-pull, um, <coughs> open drain or you can also disable the uh, output and make it input. Okay. So, uh, you can see this is the path which is in dashed line and you have a PMOS and uh, NMOS combination on this particular line and uh, when you enable PMOS you see you you have a connection to VDD which means this will be uh, pulled high. When you enable uh, NMOS and disable PMOS, you actually uh, pull this pin low. So that's how we are going to output a signal on um, the IO pin of that microcontroller, especially the STM32. So you can see here, it can be push pull, it can be open drain or, or disabled basically. Okay, you can see um, you, you get the read write instruction and which will be saved to the output data register and uh, this will further control the PMOS and MOS using the output controls. So, this is a simple path uh, to the output pin of the microcontroller. Now, we have a separate path for the input. So, if you know about a microcontroller, microcontroller input can be different types, right? The input can be uh, an analog input, input can be a digital input or input can be uh, a digital but a different, <coughs> not just a I.O. Uh, it can be a pin which reads some digital signals like a PWM or something. So, there can be different scenarios, right? Apart from a simple GPIO, it can be a, it can have an alternate function, right? So when you uh, get the input, you can enable pull up or a pull down on that signal because why this pull up pull down matters is let us assume we don't connect anything and we want to maintain a default state on the IO pin of a microcontroller. In that case, let us assume if you want to maintain default state of low, you can enable the pull down and disable the pull up such that you get low here and you read low always. Similarly, uh, for uh, maintaining the signal high, um, you enable the top resistor, the switch here, so that the pull up to VDD uh, is enabled and you disable the switch here so that uh, the resistor is not 
pulled to ground anymore. So you can see it goes through uh, the Smith trigger. Uh, we can we will talk about the Smith trigger later. Uh, but basically, Smith trigger helps us to get uh, a step uh, to read a stable output. Uh, at the input if there are few fluctuations or lower voltages that we see we will talk about this uh, later so you have a smith trigger and you can see here the output of the smith trigger is posted to an input data register which is read by the next sections of the controller so this is how a standard io port looks like in a microcontroller uh, output path and input path so if you enable a transition uh, a microcontroller pin uh, for a input path this path will be enabled and these two will be off and uh, um, this path will be open and when you enable output um, you will disable this path and uh, um, you will control the pmos and nmos to have a corresponding output on the IO pin. this is the simple circuit of a io port in a microcontroller you can see here everything gets read um, from the registers whenever you give an input and these are basically um, called special function registers if you know about the 8051 which uh, uh, is the preliminary microcontroller they call it special function registers right so these are basically um, the special function registers from where you can read this <coughs> Um, data from the registers okay now if you see this microcontroller um, and you can see here vdd is given so when vdd is given this means this particular io pin is not tolerant than um, the voltage that is being supplied uh, I, I, not tolerant to any voltages that is higher than uh, the voltage that is supplied here. For example, if you view 3.3 here and if you um, try to <coughs> enable uh, a give 4 volts, um, this might not work. So, some controllers and even STM32 F103 C66 has um, IO pins which are 5 volt tolerant. So, what is the difference between a 3.3 volt tolerant pin and a 5 volt tolerant pin is uh, if, if you scroll down in the same reference manual, you have a 5 volt tolerant IO port bit. What is happening here? What is the difference between 3.3 volt tolerant and uh, a 5 volt tolerant uh, um, IO pin is you can see uh, the voltage here VDD underscore FT uh, will be uh, 5 volts for a 5 volt tolerant pin. Uh, so <clears throat> if this uh, um, specific voltage uh, domain is different from this domain, the IO pin can also handle different voltages. So especially um, VD, uh, the, the input that is given as a protection here uh, will help us um, determine whether we can give uh, higher voltages and it is tolerant or not. So that is the difference between 5 volt tolerant IO port and 3.3 volt tolerant port. So <coughs> standard or uh, basically standard IO port which is uh, we generally use for 3.3 volts right. So, and the entire structure if we see uh, remains the same. So this is how uh, the uh, 5 volt tolerant IO port varies from 3.3 volt tolerant port and also uh, how a uh, entire GPIO structure uh, in a microcontroller works and this is as we are talking uh, specifically to the STM32 microcontrollers.